Good afternoon. My name is Spencer Levy. I'm America's head of research, and I'm delighted to be sitting here today with my good friend and colleague, Whitley Collins, who is the president of Advisory and Transaction Services. Whitley, good afternoon. Hello, Spence. When we were taking a look at the numbers prior to this interview. We noticed that in addition to the office space overall having a very strong first quarter, a disproportionate amount of that strength was in the suburbs, which is an area that's really lagged the CBDs uh, during this entire recovery. What do you make of that? It was about time. They've definitely been lagging the last couple of years, and I think just fundamentally there was uh, vacancy out there and there was room to grow. I think you're also seeing a little bit of a pull away from the CBDs. That's where everybody's been going. The amenities, the investment, the residential, and now we're seeing the, the suburbs pick up on some of that. So we're seeing amenities. We're seeing some of the millennials looking out there to live. So the fundamentals are definitely getting better there. Yeah, and I would say on the millennial front, um, as millennials make different life choices, I think the percentage of them living in the suburbs is going to even grow, and even today it's about 50%. So I think it's growing off of a low base, but I think the, the long-term prospects are good. Agreed.